What is the rarest item in Terraria? Well, if I asked you that a few years ago, there's a high chance you'd have gravitated towards items like the elusive Rod of Discord, or maybe the iconic Nymph Banner, or what about the incredibly rare Slime Staff? And the thing is, while these all are impressively uncommon items, statistically, they don't come close to what we're going to be looking at today. The one and only Dirt Block. Sorry, no. The one and only Dirtiest Block. Recently, I've seen this item dominating polls that previously would have been ruled by the as for mentioned items. So today, we're going to take an in-depth look at what makes this item so rare and what you can do to get one yourself. Let's jump into it. First things first, I think it's only fair we understand how statistically rare this item really is. So let's break it down. For those of you who don't know, a dirtiest block is a pet summon item that appears identical to a regular dirt block. When it comes to its obtainability, a set amount of these will be placed during world creation depending on your world size, starting with 3 on a small world, 6 on a medium, and 9 on a large. At this point, you may be thinking, uh, 9 in one world doesn't seem that rare, does it? Well, let me tell you, it's not till you realise just how much dirt generates everywhere that you see the true numbers. On a small world at least, approximately 300,000 dirt blocks will be generated. So with three dirties blocks in total, that equates to about a 1 in 100,000 chance to get one pair dirt block mined. And it gets more insane, because despite medium worlds generating twice the amount of dirtiest blocks, the total amount of dirt doesn't scale up equally, giving you approximately a 1 in 115,000 chance to get one paired dirt block mined. Of course, this trend continues with large wealth, giving you a staggering 1 in 135,000 chance to get one pair block. So, I think it's safe to say, a small world is most definitely your best bet when looking for this thing. But still, with a measly 0.00001% chance to get one, you're going to need some serious tools to make this bearable. I think it's pretty obvious that I'd recommend going for this post-endgame, because, well, I don't think any of you deserve the pain and suffering of slowly chipping away at your world with a Drax. And to be honest, even with a bunch of mining buffs and a solar pick, I'd still say not to bother, as it's just going to cost you too many hours you'll never get back. So at this point, there's only really one more option. Of course, it's the spectacular Celebration Mark II. Once you manage to get one from your Moonlord, you're going to want to head to your Cyborg and purchase a motherload of Rocket 4s during a Solar Eclipse, and then combine them with Shroomite or Auto Hammer to get yourself some Mini Nuke 2s. This combo, well, speaks for itself. Combine this with a Treasure Magnet for easy looting, and you've got yourself a golden setup, which for most of you, is all you'll actually need. Oh, and I absolutely promised this wasn't planned or scripted, but it seems the Terraria gods are finally on my side. Yep, that's my first legit dirties block in my first minute of blowing up this new world. Utterly insane. Now, now, now. Despite me showing a quick and easy payout using this method, not all of you will be so lucky. So here's another legit-ish and non-legit way you can go about getting one using world seeds. Firstly, all Celebration Mark 10 worlds actually generate with five times the amount of dirties blocks, meaning on small worlds at least, your chance of getting one pair dirt block mined equates to a generous 1 in 20,000. And if you've fully given up and just want one right this moment, by creating a small corrupt world with a seed above, you'll get a guaranteed dirties block spawn 25 tiles right and free down from your spawn. For me, this kind of defeats the point of the item though, is the actual pet in question quite literally does nothing aside from, well, looking like a dirt block. And you know, this actually leads me on to the question of, with so many ways to cheese its obtainability, is it right to actually call it the rarest item in Terraria? And yes, while that'll always remain true from a technical perspective, as someone who's farmed for a gold water strider and gold seahorse last year, the struggle for these was far greater due to their own predictability. I think the one thing that makes the dirtiest block grind not too bad is the fact you always know you will eventually get one. If you found today's video interesting, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to help support the channel. This has been Socrates, and I'll see you in the next one.